up and talk to you now, Dennis. Who's asking you to? You see, I'm about to become a star. See that? The little Swiss girl? Wait, don't tell me. You play the big cheese. <laughs> no, Dennis, I play the star. Wow, can I watch the show? Definitely not. It's a serious drama for dignified adults. Well, good luck, Margaret. Dennis, you're so out of it. We in the theater say, break a leg. Really? Hey, Margaret, have you seen the prop man? Of course not. We stars don't mingle with the little people. Hey, kid, you doing anything? Who, me? Uh-uh. Well, you are now. Come on, I'll show you how to be a prop man. Oh, boy! A prop man! What's a prop man? Just do whatever I tell you and everything will be fine. First, get ready to open the curtain. Places, everybody! Places! Curtain in one minute! Hi, Mr. Wilson. What are you doing here? This is my costume in the play, Dennis. Mrs. Wilson is head of the community theater group. Uh, darn it. Wow! And to think I'm the prop man. You're the what? Places, everybody! Break a leg, Mr. Wilson! With you back there, I probably will. Okay, kid, pull the curtain rope. You got it, mister. Ah! No, not that rope! Yes! Hey, where'd you go, mister? Boy, he trusts me so much, he's leaving me on my own. Yay! I wonder where my precious little granddaughter can be. Hark! I think I hear her coming now. That's my cue. Now make sure you bathe me in a baby blue spotlight. Uh, all right. All right. Baby spotlight. Let's see. It's got to be this baby size switch. Oh, my precious granddaughter. Let me take you into my arms. Yes! To me, grandfather! <laughs> Nothing could keep me from you, my child! Nothing! Well, almost nothing! Wilson, you're terrific. Never mind that. My costume changed. Quick. Oh, sure, Mr. Wilson. Let's see. Dearest grandfather, so wise, so brave, so sensible. All right, my <laughs> child. Now I'm dressed properly for the snow. <laughs> snow? Oh, my gosh. They need snow. You skip to the end. Then it's goodbye, dearest grandfather. Yes, my little alpine flower. I feel the lights going dim. Dim? I better make the lights brighter. I wonder if this lever is it. No, no, grandfather. You mustn't leave me. I will never leave you. Is the show over? It certainly is. And thanks to you, so is my entire theatrical career. Gee, in that case, I'd better bring down the curtain. Boy, they really think you were great, Mr. Wilson. As we say in the theater, I think you broke a leg. 
I think I did too, Dennis. I know I did. What did you say, Joey? My mom said... Uh, there! That's better! I believe that Joey was trying to communicate our sincerest appreciation for this opportunity to view your company's spacecraft division. Ah, well, you're very welcome, Joey. I hope you all enjoy the tour. Now remember, stay with me and don't wander off. Hey, Dad, what's this? Dennis, I told you not to wander off. What is this? That's a wind tunnel, Dennis. We use it to test how a spaceship will react to wind. That's real interesting, Mr. Mitchell. But what are those scientists telling Dennis? Dennis! Hi, Dad. Dennis! I wonder what this does. Wow! If you don't let go of my feet, I'm going to hit you in the head with this spaceship! Dennis! Wow! This is a centrifuge. We use it to test the G-force on the astronauts. Looks like a great ride. Let me try it. No, Dennis, no one is gonna try this. But I will show you how it works. Once you are securely in the chair, the machine is turned on and... You mean like this? Yay! Turn it on! Okay, Dad. Stop this machine! I'm getting sick! I believe this will deactivate it. I want to talk to you, Dennis. From this room, we are able to track satellites all over the world. Can you drive them from here? No, Joey, we can't drive them from here. What if they make a wrong turn? Well, if they go off course and are in danger of damaging anything, we can destroy them by pressing a destruct button. Is that what this is? Dennis, don't touch that! What did you do, Dad? Henry Mitchell, please report to the front office. Uh, okay. Uh, kids, come with uh, me. Hmm, who turned this off? Now you kids wait here and I'll be right back. Unemployed, but right back. Let's wait for my dad over there. Didn't your dad want us to wait over there? Oh, he just wanted to make sure we'd wait somewhere in this place. I'm going back there, Dennis. Fantastic! Gosh! Wow! Neat! Dennis, do something! Or maybe don't do anything! We're going to outer space. I can't go to outer space. I'm not even supposed to cross the street. Don't worry, Joey. I'll get us home in no time. What's this switch for? 
Venus, I don't think you should have done that. Hey, we're floating. I don't feel so good. Come on, Joey. This is great. Nice work, Dennis. You've turned off the artificial gravity. My head is getting heavy. Dennis, you're going to have to help me get down to turn the gravity on. Okay, here goes. Hey, what are you doing? Uh... Right on, cowboy! Dennis, stop this! I can't! Boom. Let's see. Activate artificial gravity. Whoa! All I have to do is set our course and we'll be home in no time. Let me help you, PB. Push that button over there. You mean this one? No, not that one. Joey, look what I found. A pedal. Phew, that was a close one. Dennis, you just sent us into hyperspace. Now I'm going to have to use the retro rockets to slow us down. Everyone, hold on. There, that should do it. Now, if you're finished playing, Dennis, I'll turn the ship around and get us back. You'd better hurry. Look! Huh? What? Looks like trouble. No, it's a meteor storm. And I forgot my galoshes. Watch out! I got it! I got it! Good, if I must say so myself. That was fun, wasn't it, Joey? 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 Joey, what you doing under there? Is it over yet? I'm getting pretty good flying this ship. My only complaint would be that it maneuvers so slowly. If this is slow, I'd hate to see what fast is. It's probably all this extra cargo we're carrying. Maybe this will help. Dennis, no! Now you've done it. That lever just dumped all of our extra fuel. Now we'll never make it back. What are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna cry. If my coordinates are correct, we should be very close to the moon. I'll just have to land us there. Wow! You hear that, Joey? We're going to the moon. The moon? Mom doesn't even let me cross the street. There it is! The moon! Here we are! Are we really on the moon? It would appear that way, Dennis. What's that? Maybe it's Moon Men. There's no such thing as Moon Men. Maybe it's Moon m Monsters. Man has proven that there is no life on the moon. Oh, yeah? Then who's at the door? You were supposed to think that. You're in a space flight simulator. You mean we weren't really in outer space? No, Joey, you just thought you were. I must congratulate you young men on your handling of the ship. What did you think of it? Overall, I felt it was satisfactory. I do, however, have a few suggestions for improvement. I knew it was fake all along. Is that right? How would you know that? Because a ship this size would have needed enormous thruster capacity. 
to achieve an escape velocity of 11.2 kilometers per second, or a little over 25,000 miles per hour. <laughs> I think garage sales are ridiculous. Besides, we already have a garage. No, dear. A garage sale is where people sell a lot of things they don't need. To a lot of people who don't need them. Mom, can I spend my 50 cents here? It's your money. Oh, boy! Poor kid. He thinks he'll actually find something for 50 cents. Wow, this is perfect. Everything for 50 cents. What a neat looking flute. Please, Dennis, I'm trying to read. Goodness, Dennis, where do you get all that energy? I think it's from the peanut butter cookies. I had to ask. Henry, would you please help dry the... How weird. Music helps people relax. I hope Mr. Wilson's not relaxed yet. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. I came over to play my flute for Mr. Wilson. How sweet. Mr. Wilson is having lunch now. Why don't you play it for me? Sure thing. Martha, you put too much garlic in the sauce again. What is that awful noise? <laughs> I should have known. Dennis came by to play his flute for you. Isn't that thoughtful? Mm, thoughtful would be staying home. Now, George, you listen to Dennis play while I finish dusting. I can't even relax and enjoy my lunch. My flute will help you relax, Mr. Wilson. You'll see. You'll feel like you're floating on air. That's enough, Dennis. That thing's giving me a headache. What happened, Mr. Wilson? What does it look like? I tripped on the rug. Oh, no, not again. Dennis, stop playing that thing. My nerves can't take it. Yeah, I can see you're all perspired. Look, Dennis, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a dollar for that flute. That wouldn't be fair, Mr. Wilson. Okay, how about three dollars? But that's not fair. 
All right, five dollars. And that's my final offer. Wow, five dollars. And I was going to sell it to you for 50 cents. For 50 cents? Oh, boy. Now I've got enough money to buy a drum. A drum? Oh, no, what have I done? No, Dennis, wait, come back! Good job!